Honorable Daniel Enseneco, thank you very much for the honor of joining us here at the Hague Summit on International Law and Human Rights, and thank you for the speech that you delivered before. I would like to ask you some questions to, uh, in order to hear your thoughts about some topics and salient issues. First of all, um, international law involves the addressing of states in actions considered as crimes against humanity. What, in your opinion, is the individual role in acts of the state? Thank you. Uh, as I state, stated in my lecture, crimes against international law are not uh, committed by abstract entities, but by man and woman. And it, by, it is by punishing individuals that international law can be enforced. So, States as such do not commit crimes. It is individuals, you and me, that commit those crimes. And uh, it is you and me, if we have committed these crimes, that should be held accountable. States are just ab abstract entities behind which we should not uh, hide and escape responsibility. The, since Nuremberg, um, it, it is now the, the, the norm that uh, crimes against the law of nations are committed by individuals and that it's only individuals that can be held responsible and punished. Of course, states may also be held accountable as a matter of state responsibility uh, for uh, matters, you know, for issues of uh, reparations and the like, because the individuals usually act in pursuance of uh, state policies and, uh, and state laws. Uh, therefore, state as corporate entities bear that responsibility, but ultimately, it is the individual. Thank you. And what, what are your thoughts on the criticism that universal human rights have been largely created and propagated from the Western-centric agenda? Could it be uh, argued that human rights are largely a cultural issue? Uh, human rights are universal. You and I are entitled to liberty. You and I are entitled to freedom of speech. You and I are entitled to our cultural rights and also to practice our religions does not matter where you come from. We are all human beings. We need these rights. They are part of, of what, what we are. And they are, they are essential for our dignity as human beings. Uh, there might be divergences here and there, but essentially human rights are universal and indivisible. That's my view on that. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, we are honored to be able to talk to you and to uh, listen to your uh, view uh, about these issues. I have two more questions here for you. Uh, the first is uh, concerning uh, the situation of the world. The world is becoming ever more globalized. Do you think this promotes or prevents universal human rights? And in which way is this happening? Globalization is very good. Uh, it means that uh, human beings, members of the human race, are one. Uh, when uh, bad things happen uh, in the Middle East, they might as well happen to us in Uganda. And uh, what is also important that with the uh, development of means of communication, the media, what happens in one spot of the world is immediately known in other parts of, uh, other parts of the world. This creates awareness, this creates solidarity, this uh, enables the citizens of other countries to urge their states to do something about uh, those situations in order to alleviate uh, suffering in those situations. 
So globalization is good because it brings about a unity of the human race and solidarity and acting together, right? If the rights of other people are not protected, mine are vulnerable. That's very important, the link between the rights. Uh, the last question is, do you believe that uh, right to culture and cultural expression should be protected at a basic human right? Absolutely. Uh, level, or how far should this protection extend? Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, wars have been fought all over the world over cultural rights, particularly language, and uh, particularly here in Europe and other places. And uh, culture defines what you and I are. To speak my language, to practice, to dress the way I want, to eat what I want, to do this or that. Uh, so it's important that uh, we cultural rights should be uh, protected. To what extent? Uh, I must also admit that there are certain cultural practices that are not compatible with the rights of, uh, of individuals. So in as much as those practices are inimical to the rights of individuals, uh, okay, they should not, should be discouraged. But those that are compatible, definitely they must be protected, both nationally and universally. And we have uh, international uh, instruments, treaties and conventions to this effect. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, maybe we could end, you know, do it our traditional way. We always shake hands, so I it's really a pleasure. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for the honor Thanks. and the opportunity to express these views to you. Thank you. Most welcome.